Okay, step number five is attaching our collar and firmer collar stand to the shirt and the softer collar stand, putting them both together. So right now I've got this laid out, so this is still the, the inside of the shirt um, that this was attached to. And now we've got this whole unit, and we've got that curve drawn on there. And this now attaches to this. So we're going to match up. We're going to make sure that this is pointed down. And if you stitch that, you don't want that little edge right there turned up. You want it flattened down. And do you see this little stitch line now? We're going to stitch right next to our um, placket there, but we do not want to stitch in it. It's real important that we're right up next to it, but don't catch it. If you do, you're going to have a little buckle in there. And if you do, we just take it out and, and redo it. So now we're going to match up our edges, our raw edges up through here, okay, and we match up our center back there, and I'm pinning it this way, looking from this firmer side, because when I take it to the machine, I'm going to want this softer side to go next to the feed dog, the feet of the feed dog, to help ease it in correctly. There's my double notch on that one in place. Maybe one pin right over and clear that. I don't want to over pin this. Like I said, it's best that you manipulate it at the machine with your hands. And over here on this side, once again, we're going to line that up so that it's right over the edge of it if we stitch there. But we won't catch our plaque to be so that we won't catch the back of the front of our shirt there. If we stitch in there, again, we're going to have a, a little buckle when you open up your collar. Okay, so we match those raw edges. Let's get a double notch right there matching. And then, and then over here. Now I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to stitch, starting right there, around, and I have my perfect curve drawn so I can see that. I stitch right on that. Three eighths of an inch on this pattern, five eighths if you're doing one that's five eighths. All along here, I'll come around over to here, right on my drawn line so I have the perfect curve, and then ending up stitching right next to this pocket. So um, I'm going to go do that, and then I'll show you when it's done. Okay, I'm back. I'm stitching it. So I have stitched it on the pretty curve that I do on both sides. And I'm checking to make sure that I haven't caught this pocket and that I'm right next to it. And it looks like it did pretty good on that side. Let's check this corner here before we go any farther. Make sure that it's going to be okay. Yeah, I think so. It's going to pop that back in there for a moment. Okay, so now we are getting ready to do the burrito technique up here on the collar. So, because we want to close this edge a little bit, this is a place where not only do we have a really hard time making corners and turning and getting this clean here. And so if we can use the burrito technique here, it makes it really, really clean. We don't have any of that stitching later. It just turns wonderfully. Now it is pretty tight in there when we're going to do it, but it can be done. Just be patient with yourself. So what we're going to do first is we're going to fold back the collar. 
just pull that back. Just like that. I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little bit here for us. the shirt and shirt pocket and I'm going to fold it straight up in there. Put it all up in here like this. Lay that all over in there. Lay that stuff in there. Stuff my burrito. You don't put stuff up in there. As I say, it's just the tortilla shell. It's not going to be a wrapped up with anything. So I'm just finding that it's nice and smooth. And what we're going to stitch is right here for a little ways. So I'm going to put a pin in here. Like so. And now we're going to stitch 3 eighths of an inch right here. Making sure that we don't catch any of our filling. Right? We can maybe put a couple of pins like this to make sure that they it stays back out of the way while we stitch. And I usually generally put it in a machine like this. And then I'm going to stitch here and really reinforce right there at that corner. Because that's going to be a tricky little corner uh, to trim. We are going to trim a bunch of stuff. And it feels like it's not quite really smooth in there. So I want to make sure that it's flat and not folded over where, into where I'm going to stitch. There we go, that first pin down. Look at this pin right there. And sometimes this is where you have some of those heavier pins really helps you because you're going through so many layers. And the really, really fine pins, well, sometimes they just bend constantly when you're using it like in that area. It's so thick. All kinds of burrito stuff in there. Okay, so there's that corner burrito stuffed. All up in there, but it's flat. There's nothing where I'm going to stitch for the 3 8 inch. So I'm going to do that on the other side, and then I will take you and meet you over at the machine and show you where, how we stitch this and finish this up. Okay, so I'm back over here at the machine. And I wanted to show you, here's our burrito. Tucked in there, but when I stitch this, I'm not going to stitch from the side that had the skirt. I'm going to stitch over on the softer interface side because there is stitching here already for me to follow. That is three eighths of an inch seam there, or if you're the five eighths, whichever it is that you're working with. So I can stitch right on that line, and that will make me accurate on both sides. It gives me a great guide to stitch up. So I'm going to put this underneath there, find where my, my needle on that stick one. You could only see all the cords that I have wrapped around me down here. This one I have a foot pedal, the computer plug in, all that stuff you'd like to. Oh my god. I'm not sure how I'm doing it either. So um, I need to move the camera up like just a little bit. So let's do that. Maybe a little bit more of a view here. There we go. All right. I got my gaps. This is regular stitching, regular stitch length. And back in. And the stitches forward. And then go back a couple stitches. Stitch this out and stitch on 
on that same stitching line. And when I get to that corner, I'm really going to make sure that I backstitch right in that corner. Because that is a very fragile area there, that little corner, as we turn and put all this stuff up in there. So there's one. So I'm going to go and switch the other side, and then I'll meet you back, and I'll show you what's next. But Okay, so we've got my burrito sign and it's time we, we need to trim and notch out this curve and trim all of this stuff out of here. But before we do that, um, because we're really going to trim a lot, we want to just pull this out and make sure that nothing is, is caught. Now, you're not going to be able to get it there out very neatly uh, because it's so much stuff that's up there. But you can pull it just enough to tell, oh, yeah, it looks like I'm fine about that yellow thread right there that needs to come out. But I haven't caught this, right? When I continue to pull that out, it's going to run nice and flat. So I'm going to put him back the way he was. Reach in there. Get him back out. There we go. So now we can trim this. So we want to be careful again, watching really carefully at this corner that we don't, um, we don't get fooled by where the threads are in the stitching. Now, you probably can't see a whole lot because it is white thread that matches so well. So you just have to trust me that where I'm cutting my corner is right there. I'm needing about an eighth of an inch of that tip, not quite. And now I'm going to trim around this curve like this. If I get up in there, I'm going to do that. And then down here, we're going to trim. Now make sure you're not cutting your shirt. You know, you're cutting what's up. going to be turned back in there and nothing else. And then have some big crocodile tears. So now along this curve here, just a little more away. On this curve, I'm going to take little notches out. You want to be careful you don't cut your stitch your stitches because then you'll have a hole when you turn this. And you'll have little threads popping out on your collar edge. So you don't want that to happen. So I'm just taking little tiny notches. Remember, an outward curve means notch out. This clip, we want to notch and take away some fabric so when it turns, it has room to collapse on itself. Okay, so the next step is pressing this and closing it up. The last step. So I will um, meet you over at the iron and we'll get it pressed, and I'll show you how we close it up and finish it off. Okay. 